Hi, everyone. I'm Barbara Bray. I have a podcast. It's the Rethinking Learning Podcast. I started that in 2017. You see, before that, I had written two books on personalized learning. I had been doing, I'm a consultant, so I was doing a lot of running around the country doing workshops, keynotes, and before that I was a teacher. But something happened to me in 2017. I realized I needed to get the stories. I had connected to teachers, thought leaders, inspirational educators around the world. And I, I realized every time I talked to them, I learned something. So that's why I started my podcast. It's the Rethinking Learning Podcast. And I needed to find out their stories. So let me take you in to my website and just show you. It's the Rethinking Learning uh, website, but it's so you can get there by typing in barbabray.net. Pretty simple. I um, found that I wanted it easy for you to find information, to get to the stories, but also to have resources. So when you go to the podcast, it takes you to this page. And on here, I have right now 106 podcasts with amazing people. My last one is Derek Wenmuth. He's from New Zealand. I've met him personally uh, last year at the Aurora Institute, but I've known Derek for years online. And many of the people that I've met has been like that. So what I did is I have a page like this page that gives you just a little introduction to who they are. And then each one of them, if you click on their page, it takes you to a page that the, my guest and myself designed the graphic, came up with a quote, um, put the podcast there, but also have links to other um, RSS feeds and places that you can listen to the podcast. But all what I try to do is personalize it. I, it takes some time, but it's worth it because there's videos from uh, videos or images and stories of their background. And with Derek, I learned so much. Um, and for me, it was just another way to get to know who he is and then share his story. The other thing I have, if you, you know, go in and take a look is you can go to the podcast alphabetically. I found that People, you know, with a hundred and so podcasts, it's kind of find hard to, you know, difficult to find them. But if I put them by their last name, and like Eileen Winokur is also Eileen Winokur, I'll say it, so she's in both places. And about Eileen, I met Eileen in 2017 at the ISTE conference, mainly just sat down with her at a table and we became best friends. Eileen lives in Kuwait and she's from New York originally. Her story is amazing. Same with Hans and Jennifer. All of the people that I've talked to have enriched my life. And all of them have a post that goes with it. So I want you to be able to go in and, and check those out. But one more thing I just started recently were reflections. I found that the podcasts are about the person. Reflections are about specific topics that people want to go deeper with. And some of them, like the one on um, agency, are teachers that I've worked with in Michigan and what is, I mean, I'm sorry, Minnesota. And what is really nice is they're going deeper into personalized learning in ways I never even thought of. And then the one with Hedrick Nichols is one that got so deep, it was all about understanding systemic racism that we created a post that not only has resources in it, but we felt we needed to go a little deeper 
So we went into different situations like, what if someone told you this? So we have scenarios. Why not try this and not this? So we did a, we put a lot of energy in this and want to give it to you. So the post, the podcast and the reflections go a lot deeper. Now, let me just tell you about, go back to the podcast. So after doing, getting these stories, I started talking to many of you know, the different people to say, you know, maybe I need to pull these stories and my story into a book. So I wrote Define Your Why in 2020. I wrote it in February. In February with 26 stories and resources and ideas for people on how to own their story so they can live and learn on purpose. All along, I said, it's the stories that matter. Now that there's a pandemic, <laughs> things change. So what I'm doing now are many of the talks are about how to redefine your why during this crisis. So please take a look, check out my uh, website, check out the podcast, check out the reflections. And I'm curious what you think. Thank you for coming by.